Oh wow. That's quite good. I quite like that. That's impressive. Well hello and welcome back to the Shallow Proclamation. My name is Paul and I'm joined by... <laughs> What's it called again? It's called... <laughs> You're called Thomas. No, but what's our channel called? Fishy Boys. <laughs> I'm Thomas. Well, thanks for that, Thomas. Uh, <laughs> we're about to watch part three of The Underwater Menace. Um, another episode that exists, thank goodness. Um, and uh, yeah, let us know what you think of this story down in the comments. Uh, tell us what you think about it. Um, give us your thoughts and opinions, put your trivia down there, and if you give us this channel a like and subscribe if you haven't already, that's very useful, pass it on to others. Um, but yeah, should we just dive into episode three? I see what you did there. I didn't even mean to, it's just a phrase I use all the time. Like, yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Submerge yeah. ourselves in Doctor Who. If I had not interfered with the temple sacrifice, the sharks would have torn you apart. But it's not too late. Ah, that's what I'll the shark you was. To and tell Supposedly, you no yeah. Longer. And he can have that it's stupid so hard to get any make context, wasn't no. it? Yeah. You've no quarrel with Ramo. I persuaded him to help me. I'm the one to blame. But oh, look, there's true. some French fries in the foreground around there. Take them away! <laughs> the cast of Abdo Fish and chips. Goodbye, Doctor! Accepto powerful and mighty Amdo. I thought he was about to say Specto so, so Patronum. I thought that as well. <laughs> you allowed them to escape, no? It's not the same guy who played you that Billy Bunter character in um, I believe what I see with my toy own maker, eyes. Is it? Cyril, that was the name. You're hungry, Doctor. Cyril. Hungry. Wow, Hello. good spot. I mean this music it just makes it feel like there should be far more action going on. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's quite good. I quite like that. That's impressive. I think it's quite good. That's very effective. That's incredible. Little anchor there. I can see a wire on the back of that one's back a second ago. <laughs> That's a bit of seaweed, Paul. <laughs> you wouldn't need to fan yourself underwater, would you? <laughs> I kind of like that. Creating a current. Get their yeah. money's worth from these shots, aren't they? <laughs> they are, aren't they? Oh, we're gonna <laughs> go for the full uh, roll. Oh, oh that's pretty brutal. That went right in there, didn't it? Yeah. You will come with me. You go after Polly. Only watch out. Zara's a desperate man. Right. Then you and I have other fish to fry. Come on. <laughs> hey. Nothing in the world can stop me now! <laughs> this is, that's a proper kind of curing the scenery type moment, isn't yeah. it? That is really yeah. going for it. So I think he, he's my highlight, just the, the pantomime villain, but I kind of love it. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, he's really over the top, isn't he? But like you say, he is quite charismatic as a... <laughs> as a as a protagonist, as a kind of your bad guy there, isn't he? Um, the whole road, no, can't stop me now. <laughs> uh, what about yeah. you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I I mean, that, I think he's great in it. I mean, it's he makes it really entertaining. I think you kind of need that slightly over the top <laughs> element to kind of pull the story along a little bit, you know. Um, he, he's a slightly larger than life character in it isn't he um, yeah kind of ticks all the boxes of sort of mad uh, scientist cliches it tickles um, the boxes yes indeed yeah. um but i don't know maybe my highlight is actually i mean although it went on for a little bit long um i think the shots of the fish people like the underwater scenes initially oh yeah you know i think that was actually really well done given obviously that they're just people they're, they're clearly just people hanging on wires um but it didn't just feel like you were watching people floating in the air. There was, like you say, they'd done a bit of work on it with some some of the lighting and things to give it that sense of being underwater. Um, that was incredible, wasn't it? Yeah, so I, I really liked that. I thought that was a really good effort. You know, even if like the, I mean, the fish people thing is it's hard to tell, isn't it? Because I'm still a little bit confused as to quite what some of them are. Because some of them, 
seemed fully fish people, and then there were a couple that seemed to just have like those big masks on. Um, yeah. So I'm, I haven't quite got my head around all that, but um, great. But I mean, but, and, and Troughton continues to be excellent through the whole thing. Um, but that's a given. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, but yeah, as you say, a very impressive wire work. Mm. You could say some of those fish were line caught. Hear me. Um, cool, <laughs> well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you'd like to join us for the final instalment of Fish Fun, um, do. Fun do? <laughs> just, just some liquid cheese. Um, <laughs> I had fondue last weekend, actually. It was really? Nice. Yeah. I like proper cheese fondue. Or... Yeah, cheese fondue. Wow. I see. I don't like cheese. What? <laughs> so that would be a nightmare. <laughs> Chocolate fondue. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But you gotta have the cheese first. Mmm. You don't like any cheese. Well, I, like, different... I like pizza and lasagna and stuff, but I wouldn't, you know, have just cheese. Oh dear. Like well, a cheese board would be my nightmare. Well, we're going to have to go and reevaluate the channel. And, uh... <laughs> cheese boys. <laughs> dear me. Anyway, let us know what you thought of that story and join us for the next episode soon. Bye bye. Goodbye.